hug in the door. <laughs> Shake it. Rolling. <laughs> Taking this tonight. Hold the e-brake up a little bit. On this, does it work? There. It oh was boy. rolling. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you guys didn't leave it in gear. Yeah, we usually don't. Pretty much all of our vehicles, we don't leave in gear. Whatever. It's you driving that thing. I think your battery's dead. Why? No, because you know, the lights didn't come on, the radio was they left. Yeah, that's all good. Left. It's the 70s. No horn. Yeah, sounds about right, right? Only Matt's cars. Right. <laughs> Picking up a girl on a date in this car. <laughs> Get in, honey. <laughs> I'm sure these are four drum brakes. Yeah, they are. Now I understand what people say, like, oh yeah, those four-way drum brakes, no power brakes. That's why cars couldn't stop. So we're working on the Beetle, finally. I got all the trim off. Well, I shouldn't say trim. All the pinstriping. It was on the hood. It was all along the door. You know, it took me three hours so far. And then all along here, so I gotta get that. I might keep the back, because that back's actually good condition. This is all one good piece. I might keep that. Not too sure. See how nasty it is? This is what it all looked like. All into little chunks. I might keep the door one. We'll see. But yeah, it was not good. Not good at all. It's coming off. It's looking pretty good with the rust so it looks like close up and add all the little colors until it makes makes it look rustic I think it's coming out pretty decent so far to tell in the video of how cool this looks right now um the video is not going to do justice but it is what it is because i'm not going to keep it like this i'm going to put a layer of blue on top so we'll see how this goes um but this is what it looks like right now so i added a bunch of colors together to make it this patina color like you saw in the videos is originally yellow you can still see some yellow in it, but it just sucks because the video doesn't do justice at all. Like, in real life, it looks way better. In the video, it looks really, like, really just thrown together. But in real life, it looks really nice and blended in, so not too sure why the video does that, why it picks it up like that, but yeah. So we're gonna do blue on top and then sand it down, sand down a couple of parts of it so you can see the patina underneath and basically go from there, but yeah, that's what I got today. So I clear coated the whole thing so that when I put the baby blue on top, it would, when I sand it, it won't go through the, uh, it basically won't go through all the way to the yellow is what I'm trying to say. So. I thought that would work 
am doing some test runs right now and it's not going so well. So this is what I'm doing right now. So that's the glue there, obviously, you can see. Okay. I used 400 sandpaper and then I used uh, 800 and then I even used 1500. So basically everything that I'm using is going straight through the black. It's not even saving any of the brown. I even clear coated it and it's not working. So unfortunately, I cannot paint it blue at this time. I will have to keep it this rustic color, which saves me a lot of work, which is pretty cool, but I was really looking forward to putting the blue on top. But this is why I run tests, just to see, you know, before painting the whole thing blue and then wasting my time. I might do another patch on where like, cause that's fiberglass in the back there. I might do a patch on the uh, actual metal just to see what would happen, but that's kind of the update I got for you guys. Um, <sighs> it really sucks that I can't do the baby blue on top and then sand it and make it look rustic, but you know, it is what it is. The testing got a little out of hand. Um, so I sprayed a lot of blue. Uh, I don't really want to see what it looks like, so this is what we got so far. I mean, it's turning out good, I think. I don't know what's going on here. But I'm just standing down, and it's actually looking... I mean, it's looking rustic. I, I'm gonna keep going, see, and see how it goes. We're gonna do the cold car like this. Me and Matt figure it out. He was telling me, oh, you either do the blue or you do the rustic. He want like the rustic, I like the blue. But I figured out how to actually blend it together so here we go I'll show you the product yeah that looks pretty good so I just blended it in and the camera does not do justice it looks amazing no nope, camera doesn't pick 10. it up the camera doesn't pick it up good 10 out of 10 that's what I'm saying it's amazing you can't judge a camera you gotta come see this in person <laughs> Like YouTubers are gonna come see it in person. Hey, we could start a YouTube trend. You wanna see the work? Come on down. From Monday through Friday from noon to 8 p.m. <laughs> well, there you have it. The whole car is gonna look like this, so it's gonna be really cool. job is now finished on the outside at least so I started this on Saturday and today is Wednesday it was a lengthy process but I think it turned out pretty good a lot of work I think my favorite spot on here is right here down here down here and definitely right over here, because that's where I started. 